this video we're going to be doing two examples of long division of polynomials. This would typically be in an Algebra 2 class and possibly even in a college algebra class if you were reviewing this concept. Alright, so your problems are going to look like find the quotient, you're going to have a polynomial divided by another polynomial. They can be long and in standard form. They can be short and have some missing terms. A variety of different ways the problems can look. We're going to start with this polynomial. We're going to look to see that the exponents are all in decreasing order and we are not missing any. And then that is what we are going to write on the inside of the long division bar. So we're going to go x to the third plus 3x squared minus 13x minus 15. All right, now, like I said, because they are in decreasing order of the exponent and we're not missing any, this is an x to the zero, x to the first, x to the second, x to the third, we can just write down exactly what we see. All right, this trinomial we're going to put on the outside, so we'll have an x squared minus a 2x minus a 3. All right, now you're always going to check first terms here, okay? So you're going to ask yourself, x squared goes in x to the third how many times? Well, we would need to multiply x squared by x. All right, the key to this is making sure that you put your answer in the appropriate column. If I say that x squared times x is going to give me the x to the third, that means I need to put it over the x column. This is going to help me know when I'm done with the long division. Now I'm going to take x times this entire trinomial right here and write the answer here. So x times x squared is going to give me an x to the third x times the minus 2x is going to give me a minus 2x squared. x times the minus 3 is going to give me a minus 3x. All right, now, as with numerical long division, we subtract this quantity. All right, x to the third minus x to the third, that's going to go away. Uh, 3x squared minus a negative 2x squared, that's going to give me a 5x squared. I'm going to go ahead and do the minus 13 minus a negative 3x. That's going to be the same thing as a plus plus. That's going to give me a minus 10x. I'm going to go ahead and bring down the next term, which is the minus 15. Now, just like with regular division, I'm going to ask myself, x squared goes into 5x squared how many times? It goes in 5 times. So that means I have a 5. I should be putting it in the column that has just plain numbers. All right, so plus 5. Again, 5 times this entire trinomial. 5 times x squared is going to be 5x squared. 5 times the minus 2x will be a minus 10x. 5 times that minus 3 there will give me a minus 15. Once again, I am subtracting that entire polynomial. And as you can see, all right, everything is going to fall out. Okay, so um, I have no remainder. My final answer then is x plus 5. Okay, now on this one over here, <clears throat> I'm missing some terms. I've got an x to the third and then applying 48, and then I've got x plus 3, which is fine here. Whenever there are missing terms, like this one had every term as far as the exponent goes, x to the third, x squared, x, and then a plain number. Okay, this one is missing the x squared term. It's missing the x term. I need to put in placeholders for when I do the long division. It's going to make it a whole lot easier. So I'm going to write down on the inside of the division bar, I'm going to write down x to the third. I'm missing my x squared, so I'm going to do plus 0x squared, because 0 times anything is 0. So I'm not really adding anything to this. I'm just creating placeholders plus 0x to the first, all right, and then the plus 48, okay? So now I have decreasing order of those exponents. <clears throat> all right, and then on the outside here, I've just got my x plus 3. All right, so again, you're going to ask yourself, x goes into x to the third how many times? Well, I need an x squared, all right? Now, if you remember, I said it needs to go above the right column. I need to have this placeholder here so I will have a place to put my x squared. It needs to go up above that column. All right, x squared times x will be x to the third. And then x squared times the three will be a plus three x squared. Again, subtracting that entire polynomial there, x uh, to the third minus x to the third, they go away. Zero minus three there is gonna give me a minus three x squared. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring down the placeholder of 0x. Now you ask yourself, x goes into negative 3x squared how many times? I need a negative 3x. 
negative 3x. Again, putting it above that placeholder column there so that my terms match and I will know when to end my division here. All right, multiplying this out, I'll have a minus 3x squared. Negative 3x times that 3 is going to be a minus 9x. Again, subtracting that entire polynomial. Okay, these first two terms, they're going to cross out. 0 minus a negative 9 is going to give me a 9x. Bringing down the last plus 48 right there. Now I can ask myself, not, x goes into 9x how many times? I'm going to need a 9. I am putting it above a constant, so my columns are correct. Multiplying that out, 9 times x will give me a 9x. 9 times 3 is going to give me a 27. Again, subtracting that entire thing, 9x minus 9x is going to go away. 48 minus 27 is going to give me 21. All right, now the fact that I have kept all of my columns straight here now indicates to me that 21 is my remainder. All right, most formats uh, for the remainder, they're going to want you to add the remainder over whatever you divided by. So we'll put it, since it's a positive 21, so we're going to go plus 21 over x plus 3. And that's usually pretty much a standard notation for how to handle the remainders in your long division of your polynomials. So actually, just a pretty quick review here of how to uh, do long division with your polynomials. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, uh, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.